Hearing loss impacts many Canadians, but Hearing Life Canada is here to help with testing and cutting edge technology. Katie Cable, the Senior Manager of Audiology at Hearing Life Canada, joins us with more. And uh, good morning. Welcome to the show. Good morning. Let's talk about hearing loss. What factors into someone losing their hearing? So there's many factors and they often co contribute to one another. So genetics plays a large role, mm -hmm. also medications, but a big one and one that we have a little bit of control over is noise exposure. So I think you'd be surprised at how many everyday sounds can be too much for our ears. So things like, you know, concerts, mowing your lawn, um, using power tools, riding a motorcycle, all of those sounds can, can be loud and they can hurt our ears over time. So over time, being exposed to those sounds can lead to hearing loss and tinnitus, which is a ringing or buzzing in your ears. We are seeing a lot of people with headphones, whether they're, mm -hmm. you know, on the treadmill or walking about, many of them younger, folk how damaging can that be so it definitely can be damaging you know the way that we consume information now has changed it's changed for all of us but especially for younger adults you know how many people do you see like you said wearing those um, earbuds and mm -hmm. headphones um, so often to listen to music the news podcasts and often they're at a volume that you know could be too loud for their ears. So we really recommend that if you are wearing earbuds or headphones that you give your ears a break. So about every hour, take about a 10 minute break to let your ears you know, have that, that time with quieter sound. And then also watch your volume. So if you're looking at the volume scale, you shouldn't have it any more than about 60% of max volume to ensure that you're, you're not in that danger level. Um, is it common for young adults, whether they're wearing those earphones or not, to lose their hearing? So what often happens is that they do damage when they're younger, mm. but then the hearing loss doesn't show up until they're older and then the aging process starts to contribute to it as well. So that's why a lot of individuals don't think about protecting their hearing because it's not something that happens right away. Right. It's a very gradual process. What are some of the things, and you brought some samples here today, that can help us either preventative or once we do lose a little bit of hearing that can help us. Yeah, there's a lot of great technology out there right now that can really get us some great information on how loud the environment is that we're in. So there are free apps that you can download on your phone or even have on your smartwatch that will give you a notification if the sound around you is into that damaging level so that you can then take proactive steps to protect yourself. So whether that is um, turning the volume down, you know, getting away from that sound source, taking a break or wearing hearing protection. Is there uh, some good habits or preventative tips that people can use to improve their hearing or once it goes, it goes? So often you, most, with most hearing loss, it is permanent. Right. There are some hearing loss where there is a surgery or um, some medication that can improve their hearing, but age-related and noise-induced hearing loss is permanent. So really, you know, what you want to be doing is to protect your hearing um, right from the onset so that, you know, it doesn't turn into a hearing loss in the future. Is there a time of the year where we should be most careful, winter, summer, spring, fall, or it doesn't really matter? It really doesn't matter. Um, you should always be protecting your hearing and making sure that, that you're not over um, stimulating it with lots of loud sounds. Another good idea is really to get a baseline hearing assessment. So um, we, Hearing Life Canada offers complimentary hearing assessments for anyone over the age of um, 19. And it's a good idea to get that baseline hearing test so that you know we can monitor any changes to your hearing you know, over time. You can visit our website at hearinglife.ca. You can book your appointment right on the website or you can find a number to call to locate one of our um, over 350 locations across the country. Got 30 seconds. Do you get a score when you get that test? So we actually talk about hearing loss in different categories. So there's um, a normal hearing loss category, sorry, normal hearing category, and then it goes to mild, moderate, moderately severe, and um, profound. So, and it can be different in different frequencies. So sometimes people will hear some frequencies or pitches better than others. Mm -hmm. So really the best thing would be to see a, a hearing care professional and they can give you all the information. All the links on our website, chch.com slash morning live. Katie, thanks for coming in this morning. All right, thanks for having me. Good morning.